Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. How are you doing today? It is Tuesday. We have two wonderful experts today. Uh, we were bringing Matt, the lumberjack landlord, up first. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome, Mike. Super excited to talk about this because yeah. my answer will be non-committal as always. Yeah, exactly. I love the fact that, you know what? This is what I think. Take it or leave it. it works for me. <laughs> yeah. I have an opinion. I'm going to say it loud. That, mm -hmm. that works. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to repeat a question that I asked Greg Dickerson yesterday. It's one of the most insightful conversations I've had with Greg. I mean, uh, I actually went back and watched it, right? It was like, okay, this is, this is pretty cool. And the question is basically this, is earning financial freedom hard or easy? And Greg and I came down on different sides of this question. So I'll be curious where you are. What do you, what do you think? You and me both. I, mean, I didn't watch that one. So I'm very interested to see where I ended up. Um, <clears throat> I think that it is, um, I think that it's, I think that it's, both. And let me explain. I think that attaining financial freedom is or can be the most difficult thing you do because it's often a series of choices. So it's easy because all it is is choices. It's hard because you actually have to follow through with being committed to those choices and executing daily. Yeah. So, and the reason I say that is, is, you know, we looked at it and when we were in really tough financial shape, when we looked at it, it was the decision was, okay, so we don't go out to eat anymore. Okay, so we don't have car payments anymore. Okay, so we, um, you know, we, um, we house hack, we continue house hacking, we don't move into our own house. Um, we everything that we do, I felt bad for every vendor, because everything that we do was like not three, it was like seven. Mm. Everything was seven vendors, everybody that wanted to get work from us, it was seven. And we thought we would always find somebody that you know, had a gap in time where they're like, yep, I'm looking for my next job when it was work that needed to be done. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would say it's, it's very, very easy, but also very hard. Um, so I think it's easy because if you make the decision that you want to be financially free, and then you follow the processes that get you to financial freedom, which is knowing your numbers, like you have in your course with yeah. the spreadsheet that we contributed to, from lumberjack landlord. Yep. People understanding their expenses on a daily basis. That's where it starts. So many people think, oh, I'm ready to buy a house. You have no idea. Yeah. And, and quite frankly, when you talk to your mortgage broker, they're going to be scared of you because they're going to be like, all right, well, so where are we at in the process? You're like, I have no idea. How much money do you make? I have no idea. What are your expenses? Yeah. I have no idea. What's your debt? No idea. Yeah. They're going to then say, these are all the things you need to do. So I think it's, I think it's easy to achieve financial freedom if you can be disciplined and the discipline parts, the hard part. That is probably the best and most complete answer I've ever heard because it really is both. Yeah, right? it has to be. Um, so it's amazing. So a couple of things that you brought up there, I just want people to realize. So I created a, um, a, 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 was it a spreadsheet? I guess it was a spreadsheet that we put into our PowerPoint slide called Choices. Yeah. And you and I ran mm -hmm. through it. I actually ran through it with yeah. five or six different experts. And Choices is where it all starts. How do you want to live? How are you living now? What could you live, right? What could you sacrifice? Yeah. And then, oh, by the way, if you want to play big boy, what does that look like in the future? Let me hang up on this wholesaler. I'm sure it's a wholesaler. Sure. <laughs> yep, another wholesaler. There you go. I wish I had wholesalers call me that often. You must be doing something right. Yeah, Maybe exactly. There's a place I could learn that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so um, it does all start with choices. And then, so that's the easy part because I think a lot of people put it out there. Where yeah. I call it hard <clears throat> is that nobody's telling the truth, right? What's hard for most people is uh, this is not a month. It's not a week, month, or even a year no. time frame. It's no. years. In yeah. our case, a year and a half or a decade and a half. Uh, I think you can do it in less than a decade, but for us, it yep. was a decade and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where it gets hard because not only is that a long time, but you also have to realize you go through life events, right? We start this yeah. financial freedom journey, our daughters in kindergarten, maybe okay. preschool, maybe kindergarten, kindergarten, I think. And then by the time we're done, she's in college. I mean, lots yep. of stuff could happen, yeah. you know, sure. change jobs, yeah. you need just to a move. few things, just a few things, yeah. right? Yeah. And life just has, I really do believe life has a way of testing your fortitude. Of course, like at year two or year four, it's going to throw a curveball. Yep. And you can either let it strike you out, meaning you're going to just pivot. And you're not going to, you're, you're not going to see the compounding effect. Because it doesn't really compound until like year six, seven, eight, something like that. And um, that's why I call it hard. Because I, yeah. I, I don't think people realize 
It's great to commit. It's like, it's, it's so much like dieting for me, right? I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Well, great. You consume less calories. You burn more calories. You do that long enough. You lose 10 pounds. And most people yeah. get there and then they change and suddenly they gain 12 back or they gain yeah, 15 sure. back. Right. Yeah. Oh, and then it's just, it's just like that. And that's the big thing about financial freedom is if you're going to, you're going to be on it. You can't let the curveballs get you. Yeah, I mean, it's an almost, you know, almost an exactly the day that you commit that you're going to do this, you're going to have opposition the other way. Oh, it's totally. guaranteed, you know, within a week, there's going to be something big, some expense you weren't counting on to get you knocked off your game. Like that is just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the thing that I would always tell, you know, folks that I was with and something that I would always tell myself when I was going through those tough financial times was, hey, tough times don't last and tough people do. Ooh. And tough doesn't mean not crying, honestly. Like when I thought I was going to lose everything and I was going to go bankrupt, I cried yeah. because I'd worked so hard to attain those things. And it wasn't that they were things that they were holding me. It was really the fact that I'd worked so hard and sacrificed so much of my time mm -hmm. to acquire and to earn those things. Yeah. And so, you know, you know, the, the concept of, you know, tough times don't last and tough people do tough is not, not crying, you know, tough is not you know, having a tough conversation with your spouse and just being transparent about where you're at mm -hmm. tough is waking up the next morning, putting one foot in front of the other and expecting a better outcome, yeah. but changing your behaviors to get that better outcome. And so it's like, they always say, you know, Rome wasn't built in the day you know, passive income, give me a freaking break about the passive income. Yeah. You know, now you get your organization, you get your engine up to the point where it's generating income while you sleep, mm -hmm. you will sleep extremely soundly. You yeah. will, you will sleep better. I don't, you know, all the stress that people are under now, it's almost always that financial stress. And it's like, simplify your life, you know, simplify your life. I see it. I see it with renters that have three big screen televisions, three brand new iPhones, you know, they're driving a, a 2019 car, yeah. um, you know, all of these things and all these plush extras that they have. And it's like, take the time, dedicate yourself to getting your money right, understanding where you're spending it, make the cuts that you need to talk about it as a family. For me, a lot of times I deal with younger individuals so it's a lot easier, mm -hmm. right? Because they're not locked into so many things. Yeah. You know, a lot of the individuals I'm talking to aren't having to worry about paying for kids' soccer camp and paying for summer camp and paying for all these other things. But I'm telling you, do yourself a favor and you will set yourself up in a much better position if you get your money right now, whether or not you try to start buying, a, buying houses and investment properties, just get your money right. And that will absolutely change your outlook on life. Yeah, it's funny. I, had, I still remember a pretty emotional time for me leaving a housewarming party of all things, right? One of my direct reports ended up buying a nice house in a, in a frankly, a better a, a house. We live in a condo, still do, uh, in a better area. And um, I remember driving back from that. We were like eight or nine years, right? So we had a decent mm -hmm. portfolio at this point. And I remember having to pull over. I was like, I don't know if this is working. I, I mean, yeah. we were so close to kind of getting over that line, but I still remember I remember pulling over and going, I, I, I don't know if we're doing this right. I don't yeah, know. I mean, I'm, you guys, you guys were starting what? Oh, one, right. Oh, one, yeah. oh, two. Yeah. Oh, two was our first purchase. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So we, so I was right around the same thing. I was single at that point. So it was oh, one or oh, two. Um, and we were growing and things were going okay. And then I remember in oh, seven when they just stopped paying <clears throat> and, you know, my nut was, Fifteen thousand dollars a Oof. month, yeah, and my income was seven, yeah, eight, and I'm like, Whoops. how long? Yeah, how long can I do? How long can I afford to do this? And we were already kind of maxed on our credit cards, and yeah, it was not. It was scary. It was scary. Yeah, yeah. Again, that's that's why I think it's hard and easy, right? The, the, yeah. The, the, what I'm really starting to see and visualize is, you know, when you stand next to somebody who wants financial freedom, that's a decision. Right. That's why I created the course, Get Your Money Right. So you got to evaluate where you are. Where are you? Go right. through the choices exercise, which you have been through. I have been through. It's in sure. the course. Sure. See what you can sacrifice. Then you start. What I will tell you is this financial freedom journey. The first 90 days are uncomfortable. You're in the, you're in the waters. There's alligators and sharks. It's just uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But then as you start to build the discipline, 
you start to understand that there's a, a real path. The, right. the path to financial freedom is actually not that hard. It's actually well-worn, right? You, yes. Real estate is a great way. You buy right, you learn your market, you do great deals. I mean, it gets easier, but yes. it will it will absolutely try to trip you up. That's And that's why I say it's hard. It's because not enough people talk about the fact that life tries to throw you. I'll just use the same word, curveballs, to knock you off. So it's, it's pretty amazing. It is. I think it's so crucial. Like I said, tough times don't last, tough people do. And tough is just being committed and understanding if you need to pivot slightly in, in the plan, but understand your numbers, know them cold. You know, if you watch any of these, you know, CNBC shows, whether it's Shark Tank or, you know, or Marcus Limonis or The Prophet or any, I mean, all these different shows, the first thing that they always need you to know is your numbers cold and yeah. you need to run your life. Like it's an income statement, income and outflow statement. What am I spending? What am I making? Cause the fastest thing you can change is what you're spending money on. It's expenses. That's it's exactly, expenses. exactly right. hundred percent. You can always generate more cash, but the fastest way to financial freedom is cutting your expenses. That's why it's, that's why it's step one is evaluate you, what you are, understand needs and wants, cut it. Cause it's fun to talk about making more money. Yeah. No matter what you do, it takes time, that's but you can awesome. always whack your expenses immediately. Yep. That's Suffice amazing. Suffice to say I make more than my $18,500 meager beginnings as a telemarketing person. <laughs> exactly. Just a little bit more now. There you go. Tiny bit. Tiny Thank bit. You. Well, this has been fun. I think that again, I think that was the most complete answer I've ever heard to that question. So uh, shout out to you. Nice work. Oh, appreciate it very much. Thanks so much, guys. And I always appreciate being a part of it. Yeah. And then what, uh, how can people find you? Uh, lumberjacklandlord.com and uh, Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube. And then obviously part of Mike's amazing course that, uh, that he's putting together with Honestly, it's, I can't, I, you know, I will say it if any other, you know, millionaire expert hasn't said it, it's an honor to be a part of that course. Oh, I wow. took it, I took it very, very seriously. Um, and it was something we put a lot of time into energy, really planning it out because it's an honor to be able to help other people out. And if just one person, it better be more than one or all. <laughs> but even if just one person does that strategy and literally yeah. unlocks the future for their entire it's not just their family. It's the legacy of their name. It's the legacy of their family. It's generational wealth mm -hmm. or generational income that can be created. It's just, it's so worth it that you can change somebody's life like that. Yeah. And if you don't know what he's talking about, you need to get the course, take the house hacking bonus section and go evaluate the four, three, two, one strategy. It is amazing. It will make millionaires and it will change yes. generations. So yeah, thank you very much, buddy. Happy to do it. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.